Hi, so today we will see three different types of surf spots. The first one will be the beach break. So a beach break is a surf spot uh, on a sandy bottom. Okay, so the sand being malleable, the water remove it and we group it to form sandbars. So when the wave, when the ond, the swell is coming, we hurt against the sandbar and start breaking, making a wave. Okay, you can have several sandbar along the beach and so different wave to surf along the beach. So I saw, I said before, uh, the sand is malleable, so with the time, uh, the sandbar can disappear and be reformed on other places of the beach, okay? And that's true, and a lot of beach break, uh, because of the topography and the form of the coast, etc. Uh, you will have the sandbar always more or less in the same place, okay? It will be pretty stable. But when it's when you have big storm and really big wave, it can change everything. That's true that we consider beach break as the ideal type of surf spot to learn how to surf, okay? Uh, because it's smoother. I mean, for example, if you fall and you hurt the bottom, it's sand, so it's not so hard to, the, the wiper will not be so hard than on a rock, okay? and the sun will absorb a little bit of the energy of the wave when she's breaking. So we will have a smoother wave than if it was rock. Okay, but be careful. Be careful. Not the, all the beach break are perfect to learn how to surf. Okay, there exist a lot of beach break really powerful and not recommended at all for beginners or intermediate. I think, for example, at um, Puerto Escondido in Mexico, okay? This uh, surf spot is a beach break, but really, really, really powerful. It's really shallow, you don't have almost water, and the wave is breaking almost on the sand. And super big wave, super powerful, only for experts. Don't try to learn how to surf there, please, okay? You have a lot of beach break really accessible to learn how to surf. I think about San Vicente de la Barquera in the north of Spain, it's a good beach break to learn how to surf. Okay, with smooth waves, sandy bottom, a nice landscape, super cool. Of course, in winter, when you have really big waves and, and, and strong uh, swell, it's not really recommended, but inform yourself. That's the point. Every time you go surf on your new place, inform yourself, okay? ask where is the best place for my level because it's not because it's a good beach break to learn how to surf i mean you can surf everywhere maybe there is part of the beach more accessible for your level than other okay and maybe you have a tide a specific tides uh, that will be better for your level than other okay so ask yourself inform yourself always before to go to surf second type of uh, surf spot the reef break so the reef break is a surf pot with a reef bottom. It can be reef, it can be rock, or it can be coral, okay? So this type of bottom will not move with the time. Huh? It will stay always on the same place. That means that the wave will break always on the same place. Of course, uh, she can start breaking a little bit more here, a little bit more here in function of the orientation of the swell and the size of the soil, okay? It will not be always on exactly on the centimeter in the same place, but it will be more or less on the same zone, okay? It will be always the same group of rock or group of coral that will make break the wave. And uh, the reef or the, the rock or the coral will not absorb the energy of the wave at all. So we have wave really powerful and it will break with all its strength. So generally, reef breaks are surf spot really strong, really powerful and not recommended for beginners to learn how to surf, okay? But it exists, eh? I already gave some uh, lessons on reef break with a smooth wave and enough 
uh, water to don't be afraid to touch the bottom okay uh, but generally they are really strong an example of reef break it will be Chiupo in Tahiti a really famous wave I'm sure you already saw some picture it's a monster of wave breaking on coral uh, it's only for expert only expert surfer can go surfing there uh, because the white part there is really impressed too uh, like it's not really good to see not really like blue day we wear it's not super cool uh, another example of free break would be just here behind me uh, la punta santa catalina panama really good uh, reef break it can be accessible for intermediate people uh, when the conditions are smooth uh, and uh, only for advanced when the conditions are uh, strong okay so as always inform yourself if you go surfing on a reef uh, where is the channel to go out to surf where you can go out uh, to come back to the land uh, as inform yourself okay to avoid to hurt the reef because that's the, princi the principal danger on a reef break and the last um, type of surf spot will be the point break so the point break is a surf spot where the wave will start breaking on a specific point it can be a stretch of land or rocky point okay this always on a specific point uh, of course in function of the orientation of the soil and the size uh, it can change a little bit but it will be always more or less on this point okay so the wave will start breaking there and she will break on the long distance okay several hundred meters uh, on a sandy or, or rocky bottom doesn't matter but she will all along the coast, breaking all along the coast on a really, really long distance. So a point can be more or less difficult with the wave more or less powerful, more or less, more or less accessible. Uh, an example of point break, really famous, would be a super tube in uh, Jeffers Bay, in the, uh, South Africa. Uh, this wave is really fast, really powerful breaking on the rocky bottom and is only recommended for experts okay don't try to learn how to surf there please it's really dangerous another surf spot uh, another point break more accessible will be Malibu in California I'm sure you hear about it too uh, this point yeah is more soft okay it's uh, really smooth wave and all the surfers there are surfing with really big board with long board because the wave is super smooth so you have time to do everything and so there yeah you can go surfing there but be careful because there is a lot of people there generally it's hard to find a, a, a time with really few people uh, so I hope you will enjoy these three type of surf spots you will be able to try to surf all these surf spots at least once in your life and I see you on the next video. Ciao!